Amen. You may be seated. It is so great to be with you this morning. Прекрасно быть с вами в это утро. They were able to gather in the house of the Lord and worship together. И что мы можем собраться в доме Божьем и прославлять вместе. You know the song that we sang about grace. И песня, которую мы пели, это о благодати. That His grace is enough. И Его благодати достаточно. And at times we only look at the one side of grace. И иногда мы смотрим на одну сторону благодати. That it forgives our sins. И оно прощает наши грехи. It covers our sins. Покрывает наши грехи. We have the grace in ministry. У нас есть благодать в служении. Мы живем в благодати. Но один аспект благодати, который мы пропускаем, это благодать, которая поддерживает или вдохновляет. И дает нам возможность идти дальше. It's the empowerment of the Holy Spirit. Это то, что Дух Святой вдохновляет или благословляет. That it gives us the ability to go beyond our natural abilities. И он позволяет нам идти дальше, чем натурально мы можем идти. And that is what grace is. И вот что означает благодать. And I want us to continue to move forward. Я хочу, чтобы мы продолжали двигаться дальше. From glory to glory. От славы в славу. From glory to glory. От славы в славу. To never be satisfied in your condition that you're in. Чтобы мы никогда не останавливались на том месте, где мы есть. But keep on moving. And keep on searching for Him. You know, the Lord has granted me another opportunity to go on a missionary trip. Uh, last year we went with an organization to Nicaragua. They've been working there for the last five, six years. They're working with the tribes, with the mosquito people who don't speak Spanish. And the only access to that is by boat. So there are 17 tribes along the river. And our goal is when we arrive there. Well, the number one goal is to preach the gospel. To share the good news. There is no churches there now. And the plan is to first open up a home church there in West Palm. And then when they have the base there, it's a lot easier to open up the churches in each of these 17 tribes. And I'm always happy that our church is able to take part in this trip. And there's multiple ways that we can take part. Number one, I believe, is the strongest point is prayer. And I ask you to cover me in your prayers when we depart on February 20th. Я прошу, чтобы вы покрыли меня своими молитвами, когда мы 29 февраля уезжаем на две недели. And number two is through donations. We have ability to take three of these containers that you see where my kids are sitting on. We can fill three of these boxes with 50 pounds each. And what you can take, what we can take is summer clothing, shoes, clothing for adults, and anything that I receive we're going to be taking there to bless the people there. And another opportunity is something different this year is when you can make your own gift for the child. And I'm so grateful for our Sunday school so far that we have collected over 130 of these Ziploc bags with these toys for the kids. And I want to say thank you if you're a parent, you're sitting here and your kids have brought these things to the Sunday school. And if you have in a small Ziploc bag, one little toy and four pieces of candy. And a note that says Jesus loves you in their native language. And you'll be a blessing to this trip. And if you have your Bibles with you today, this morning, I want to go into the Word of God. John chapter 12. 1224. Very truly I tell you, unless a kernel of wheat falls to the ground and dies, it remains only a seed. But if it dies, it produces many seeds. Истина, истина говорю вам, если пшеничное зерно по землю не умрет, 
то останется одно. А если умрет, то принесет много плода. There were people who came to Jesus. Есть люди, которые пришли к Иисусу. And they said, Jesus, they said, they say to Philip. И они говорят Филиппу. We want to see Jesus. Мы хотим видеть Иисуса. We want to see him. Мы хотим видеть его. And Jesus is speaking about himself. И Иисус говорит о себе. He says that I have to die. Он говорит, что я должен умереть. And through the death of this seed, the death of Jesus. Через смерть вот этого зерна, смерть Иисуса. Something happened. Что-то случилось. He says I'm on a mission from my father. Он говорит, что я I'm on a road. I have a task that I have to fulfill. But if I don't die, I'm going to be like this seed that's going to be in a bag. And not in the ground. Where only one person can see me. Where another person can see me. But he said, if I die, through my death, there's going to be salvation for all mankind. For those who believe. Because of his death, there was a result and a purpose to it. It was salvation for all mankind. When we look in agriculture at a farmer, when he goes and plants his seeds in the field, and it doesn't matter what kind of seeds they are, he has, he has one thing in mind. That a certain time is going to pass. То, что пройдет короткое время. And I'm going to go back in the field. Я пойду назад на поле. And now I'm not, I'm not going to see an empty field, but I'm going to see crops. И я не увижу пустое поле, но там что-то будет расти. That's his point. И вот его цель. That's the purpose of of sowing these seeds. Вот это цель, чтобы сеять эти семена. So there will be harvest. Чтобы можно было пожать. And same thing with us. И то же самое с нами. It does it. Whatever we invest our time in. В то, что мы вложим свое время. We want something in return. Мы хотим что-то получить назад. When we pray to Jesus. Когда мы молимся Иисусу. We expect our prayers to be answered. Мы ждем, что наши молитвы будут отвечены. When we go to the gym. Когда мы идем в спортивный зал. We expect to get results. And to be fit. Мы хотим быть стройными и какие-то результаты иметь. When we start eating, eating healthy, когда мы начинаем кушать здоровую пищу, there's going to be a, a, the benefit is you're going to start losing your gut. Бенефит будет то, что вы будете терять свой живот. When we go to work, когда мы идем на работу, we expect to receive a paycheck every two weeks. Мы ожидаем, что мы получим зарплату каждый две недели. And if those things don't happen, если эти вещи не случаются, then why are we wasting our time? Тогда почему мы тратим свое время? So when we look at Matthew chapter 25. И когда мы смотрим Матфея 25 глава, был мужчина. Был мужчина. In verse 14. 25 глава 14 стих. And it was a parable. He says, "It's a man going out on a journey. He called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them." И как человек, который отправился в чужую страну, и он дал, поручил свое имение. To one person he gave five talents. Первому он дал пять талантов. To a second person he gave two. Второму два. To the third he gave one. Третьему один. And after he returned, he expected something in return. So the man with the five comes up to him. He says, Master, I have worked. Here's your five. Here's your additional five. The one with the two. He said, here's your two. But here's your additional two. He, re he, re he received something. But the the man it says no, in дальше, verse 24, he had the one who had one. Uh, he brought back what was given to him. То, he did nothing with him. So the question is, what are you expecting today? Вопрос, How are you working? What are you doing? Работаете, How делаете? much effort are you putting in? As you get the concept I'm talking about, sowing and reaping. Понимаете, говорю, it's one of the simplest things to это одно из самых простых вещей, что мы можем сделать. Принцип он очень простой. Но все равно мы его пропускаем. И мы как христиане, которые верим в Иисуса, мы должны понимать эти принципы в нашей жизни, в нашем хождении за Иисусом. И моя тема это сеяние жатва. Anything that we put our time, our money, our focus. Все на что мы тратим наше время, деньги и фокус. Is an act of sowing. Это акт того, что мы сеем. We put our energy into something. Мы вложим нашу энергию. We focus into something. Мы фокусируемся на что-то. The reaping. 
жатва is the result это результат of the effort того усердия or the lack of effort или того что мы не вложили усердие what we have sown and the results depend on our effort so sowing and reaping will never cease to exist think about it when we were as kids and I hear my kids saying the same thing they're in an amusement park at the, at the beach when it's a wonderful day they say I wish this day will never end Они говорят, я бы хотел бы, чтобы этот день никогда не закончился. Но мы знаем, что нет разницы, что ты хочешь. День закончится. Вечер придет. И утро это новый день. Или мы на улице. И мы уже замучились от холода зимы. И мы смотрим на интернете, люди ставят прекрасные фотографии. Мы хотим, чтобы уже зима but it doesn't matter how fast you want it to end or how bad you don't like it the seasons are going to happen because it was the law that was put in place by God I want to talk about four points about sowing and reaping we have to understand it wasn't that man invented this it was implemented by God whether we agree or disagree like it or not it's happening number one if you do not sow you will not reap I want us to have a basic understanding of cause and Я хочу, чтобы мы знали, что здесь происходит. When we, if we don't open the door, we'll never get inside of a house. If we don't put a key into the ignition, the car will not start. If we do not study in school, you won't be a good student. And if you don't come to work on time, you're not going to get that promotion. If you don't accept Jesus as your personal Savior, heaven is not guaranteed for you. Sowing and reaping. And the only person who, the only people who do not sow anything are the people who are dead or inside the grave. These are the only people that do not sow. But while me and you while we have breath inside of us we're constantly sowing we make decisions every day and it has negative and positive application so if I don't sow the negative seeds of a bad habit I'll never have to deal with the difficulties of it practical life application so remember, point number one, if you don't sow, you won't reap. If I don't take the first drink, I won't become an alcoholic. If I don't flirt with opposite sex, then I'm not going to be unfaithful to my spouse. If I don't gossip, if I don't slander, if I don't talk bad about the church, then my kids won't do the same. If I don't sow, if I don't plant the seed in that area, I won't have to deal with the rotten harvest. If I don't sow, I'm not going to reap. On the same, on the other side of the token. If I don't sow the time and energy into my family, if I don't sow the time into my own spiritual growth for me to practice fasting 
for me to get into the Bible, for me to get into on my knees and pray, what results are we expecting to have? If we don't sow in that area, we can't expect that something else might happen. I know it's a, this sometimes it's hard to swallow and understand. But at the end of the day, there is no magic pill out there. The Bible has its principles. And one of the principles is, if I don't sow into this area, I'm not going to reap the negative rotten things in my life. There's another principle, Ecclesiastes 11.1. И еще один принцип в Эклезиаст 11.1. Cast your bread upon the waters, for after many days you'll find it again. Отпускай хлеб твой по водам, потому что по прошествии многих дней опять найдешь его. This principle I learned in my life more than 15 years ago. И этот принцип я научился в своей жизни больше, чем 15 лет назад. We had an uncle, a relative, who lived overseas at that time. У нас в то время жил дядя за границей. He was an unbeliever at that time. И он был неверующий в то время. And the moment came when he was supernaturally transformed by God. И время пришло, когда Бог его сверхъестественно поменял. He gave his life to the Lord in a small little village church. Он отдал свою and he had this desire inside of him to go to a conference in a different city. And in order to get from his destination to the conference, he needed $100. At that time, I remember still working at Bell's Market for $5.25 an hour. And that moment when I heard of that conversation that he had with my parents on the phone, and I had this desire to give him $100 for him to go to this conference. We gave him the money, he went to this conference. And I completely forgot about it. Years and years later, when he finally came to America, and then when we were working, I needed something done around the house, and we were working. He reminds me of that time and of this verse. What is sowing and reaping? When we don't expect it, it's going to find us. Point number two. It goes hand in hand with point number one. What you sow, that you will reap. How you sow is how you will reap. We reap what we sow. Deuteronomy 30, chapter 30, verse 19. God said to Moses, I have set before you life and death, blessing and curse. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendants may live. Жизнь и смерть предложил я тебе благословение и проклятие. Избери жизнь, дабы жил ты и потомство твое. Our words have power. Наши слова имеют силу. And the question is, what are we telling our kids? И вопрос заключается в том, что мы говорим нашим детям. What we sow is what we will reap. If we speak positive, or if we speak negative, there's one person that I met, he looks in the mirror every single morning, and you, and you see your own reflection. And he looks and he points in that mirror. And he says, you are a son of God. You are anointed. And all those positive words, he's speaking into his life because our words carry some kind of weight it has power either bad or good blessing or curse what you sow is what you will reap as one person said garbage in garbage out what comes around goes around a lot of times this is what the world says to realize this is exactly what the Bible teaches as well. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. Galatians chapter 6, verse 7 and 8. Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will reap. For he sows to the flesh, 
of the flesh he will reap corruption. But if he sows through the spirit of the spirit, he will reap everlasting life. Не обманывайтесь, Бог поругаем не бывает, что посеет человек, то и пожнет. Сеющий в плоть свою от плоти пожнет тление, а сеющий в дух от духа пожнет жизнь вечную. We see two sides. Мы видим две стороны. We have the flesh. У нас есть and then we have the things of the spirit the things of the flesh is the lust, the jealousy, the lying the adultery, fornication anything that pleases our body currently then you see the other side the things of the spirit the things that we get that get us closer to God that we mentioned before living a righteous life not slandering praying and fasting seeing the people that are around you we have a choice that we make and a lot of times we look at these people who are doing the things of the flesh and we wonder how come things don't happen right away and we'll see that in point number four you know everything reproduces after its own kind Genesis chapter uh, 1 verse 11 then God said, let the land produce vegetation, seed-bearing plants and trees on the land that bear fruit with seed in it, according to its various kind. И сказал Бог, да произрастит земля, зелень, траву, сеющую семя, породу и подобие ее, дерево плодовитое, приносящее породу so we understand the apple seeds bring an apple harvest seeds from a peach is going to give you a peach harvest cats don't re reproduce dogs monkeys don't rep reproduce elephants and a lot of times we understand that with animals, with plants but when we apply it to our lives we tend to forget that our seed is going to determine our harvest so life practical application if we don't want to reap something in a certain area don't sow into that area you know there's a price for everything if someone wants to have a six pack and be fit he's not going to eat junk food what you sow is what you will reap you know we can't expect people to get healed we can't expect people to be delivered we can't expect our kids growing up with us to have these spiritual gifts inside of them and activated we have to go after it what we sow is what we will reap if we don't sow in that area if I as a father of my home if I don't sow in certain areas of my kids I can't expect something to be there which was never planted you know as a church God works through the body of Christ he wants the work to be done of the church. So whatever you or, uh, you or I put into my marriage, put into the church, put into the ministry, in our relationship with God, that is what we'll get. Some people have an interesting philosophy that my, the entire week I can plant all these wild oats, wild seeds. 
садить вот эти разные такие дикие, I да, семена. I there, I planted there, туда, I planted сюда, there. здесь. Sunday service comes. И утром в служении в воскресенье. And my prayer is this. И моя молитва такая. Lord, destroy that crop. Боже, уничтожь вот destroy это семя. Destroy that crop. Уничтожь вот это семя. And it goes in week after week. И идет неделя за неделей. But we don't understand. мы не понимаем. That what we sow, we will reap. То, что мы посеем, мы пошлем. Yes, there is grace. Да, есть благодать. Yes, there is forgiveness. Да, yes, there is a second chance. Yes, yes, yes amen. Да, да, While me and you are still here. Даже когда мы сейчас здесь. And maybe the seeds that you have sown может, семя, were the wrong посеяли, ones. Плохое and maybe семя. you have that regret sitting here now. Ты, может, быть, We still have the opportunity to change that today. У нас есть сегодня возможность это изменить. That is the power of grace. И вот сила благодати. That is his forgiveness. И его прощение. That we can start sowing these good seeds now. Что мы можем начать сеять хорошие семена сейчас. So these seeds will grow. И чтобы эти семена они росли. Second Corinthians 9:6. Второе Коринфянам 9:6. Whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. Whoever sows generously will also reap generously. При всем скажу, кто сеет скупо, тот скупо и пожнет, а кто сеет щедро, тот щедро и пожнет. Once again we have this choice. И вот опять у нас есть выбор. What you sow, что посеешь, is what you will reap. То пожнешь. Point number three. И третий пункт. We reap more than we sow. Мы пожинаем больше, чем мы сеем. So point number one. Первый пункт. If you don't sow, если ты не сеешь, in a certain area, в каких-то сферах, you won't reap. Ты не пожнешь. Number two. Второй пункт. You sow what you reap. Ты пожинаешь то, что ты сеешь. And number three. И третье. We reap. Мы пожинаем. More than we sow. Больше, чем мы сеем. We look at a seed. Мы смотрим на семя. And we just imagine. И мы представляем. What can possibly ha- happen with this? Что может с ним случиться? What kind of crop am I going to have? Какое растение будет вырастить? We look, a lot of times we look at the seed. И мы часто смотрим на семя. And we don't see the tree that it can become. И мы не видим дерево, которым оно может быть. When you consider a seed, don't just look at it as a seed, but look at it as a harvest. I want to say once again, practical life application. A lot of times we think, these small and insignificant things, they're not going to change anything. For the good or for the bad. There was one discussion I had a couple of weeks ago with, in, in the hallway with one, of the, uh, with one of the members of our church. We're talking about sun, Sunday services, Friday services. And he said, and he, and he shared his, his heart to me. And he said, you know, I, I try I never I try not to miss Friday services. He said, because I have kids in my house who are looking at me and they're looking, what is what what am I gonna do? So he says, even when I don't want to, when I don't have the energy or the strength, I force myself to go because I don't want that day to come. When my kids are going to question it, when, I go, when I'm going to tell them, let's come to church, and they're going to say, well, how come you don't attend or didn't attend? You know, and, and I looked at my life, and my kids are six and three. And from work, sometimes I have I have to take call coverage. I can be at home, but if, if my phone rings, I have to leave and go to work. And my three-year-old, when he goes to when he goes to on Friday service to choir, and I was home that day because I was on call. And as a three-year-old, he says, "Well, how come you're not going to church?" You know, at this age, you kind of could f- f- wiggle yourself out of it. But that's that thought hit me. What kind of seed am I planting into my child? It might be something small. They don't realize that I just worked 40-hour week. They don't realize that I had a, a couple meetings at church in the evening time. But they just look at that one thing. How come he's not going where he tells me to go? You know, 1 Timothy chapter 3, verse 15, the ending of verse 15. 
1 Тимофея 3, 15 стих, конец. The ending of 15, yeah. The church, it says, is the pillar and support of the truth. Он говорит, что церковь — это столб правды, утверждение правды. So if the church is the truth and the pillar, and if we remove that out of the equation, and we kind of put, you know, that's not that important, I can watch something online, I was busy this week, and we remove that everything starts falling down in our life. These tiny seeds, and my desire and prayer, to our field will not be empty but it can be it can have a harvest Paul says do not be deceived Hosea 8-7 Hosea 8-7 if they sow the wind they will reap the whirlwind Uh, we think that something is so small думаем, ну, это it's not important важное, it's insignificant but the Bible says говорит, that something else can follow что, что we прийти, don't expect it practical life application if a, little, if, he, if, a, if a child can come forward I just want to show something Pretend this is a child that you have at home. Представьте, что это ребенок, который у вас дома. And you have a child. We're talking about what you sow is what you reap. И мы говорим о том, что мы посеем, то и пошло. And you have a child that's at home. И вот у вас есть ребенок, который дома. And every day you see this child because it's your child. И каждый день вы его видите, это же ваш ребенок. Instead of just neglecting him. И не то, что просто оставлять его, не замечать. But you can take the time in your out of your schedule. Но возьмите время в своем расписании. And you speak over him. И говорите в него. You pray over him. Молитесь за него. You prophesy over him. Пророчествуйте за него. That you're gonna be, that you are a child of God. Что ты сын Божий. That you are co-heir of Christ. Ты нас that you are seated in the, in the high places. That when people are going to fall around you, you're going to stand firm. That you're hidden under his wings. That you're going to be a minister for Christ. That the gifts of the Holy Spirit are going to be inside of you. And when we speak these things over our kids, what we will sow, thank you so much. It's what you will reap. Вот то, что мы пожнем. We have a choice in our words. У нас есть выбор в наших словах. The harvest is greater than the planting. И жатва она намного больше, чем сождение, насаждение. Point number four. И четвертый пункт. Fruits don't grow right away. Урожай он не растет сразу. So point number one. Первый If you don't sow some of these negative habits in areas of your life, you won't have to reap the negative rotten consequences of it. What you sow is what you will reap. We reap more than we sow. But the fruits are not, do not grow right away. They're not seen right away. Galatians 6.9 Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Делай добро, да не унывай, ибо в свое время пожнем, если не ослабеем. Урожай приходит после насаждения. И мы как христиане гоняемся за духовными вещами. В хорошем смысле. Мы в слове, мы молимся, мы постимся. И потом видим людей, которые вокруг нас живут. И они гоняются за плотскими вещами. Они могут пить, они могут курить, они могут обманывать, и они And then when we're looking at them, and we see how come nothing is happening to them. Maybe God is not just. Why am I trying to live this holy and blameless life? I'm just going to be like everybody else. And we start to give up. Our hands start to fall down. But as the Bible says, but tell I Saul, on, on the road, on the slippery slope that they're, they're on, the ending, what will happen to those people, 
увидел их на этом скользящем пути, и что их ждет в конце. But I'm standing on a firm ground. Но я стою на твердой земле. But maybe we're ministry. И может быть мы в служении. Maybe we're tired. Мы же, может быть мы устали. Maybe your hands are going, we're getting exhausted. Руки уже опустились. No one's understanding me. И никто тебя не понимает. No one is helping me. Никто не помогает. I want to tell you these words. Хочу сказать тебе следующие слова. Не сдавайся. Because the harvest is going to be great. Потому что жатва будет большая. If you're praying for your siblings. Если ты молишься за своих родных. If you're praying for your child, if you're praying for your spouse, continue to pray. Do not give up. Do not give up. Continue to pray for them. Because sometimes the fruits are not seen right away. Paul says in due time, do not quit. It takes time. We live in a in a generation, and the, the further we go, the further we move uh, towards the end, the end of this world, и the crazier it's going to be. Чем дальше мы живем и приходит конец этому миру и тем we, больше сложнее все становится. We want instant gratification. Мы хотим, чтобы все случалось we сразу. Want, we have we are a microwave generation. Мы поколение, которое выросли в микроволновке. We want everything now and fast. Мы хотим сейчас, прямо сейчас. In the spiritual. And the same thing in the physical. And I can tell you from my own experience. You know, I started eating healthy. I started eating salads. I always say, New Year, New Me. And every day I get on my scale. And I started at a high number. And every time I get on that scale. When I, when I don't eat that junk food no more. And I eat salads all day. And then I get on the scale. And those numbers, that number did not change. And the next day I get back on the scale. And it only changed by 0.5. But something changed. But now I look back after over two months. Somehow these 14 pounds somehow came off my body. Somehow it happened. The fruits happened later. Same thing in our life. Same thing in our marriage. Same thing with our kids. Same thing in church. The same principle can be applied. Negative or positive. Sowing and reaping. It doesn't matter which family you grew up in. It doesn't matter if you were a Christian or you just became a believer. These laws apply to everyone. Before we pray, I want to just recap these four points once again. If you don't sow in a certain area, you won't reap. What you sow is what you will reap. We reap more than we sow. And fruits are not always seen right away. If we can stand up to our feet. My question, I want us to analyze ourselves this afternoon. What kind of seeds am I sowing today? How is my field looking like? Have, was I sowing negative or positive seeds? How are my words? To do an inventory of our own life. To see where can I change. Because we're at the right place today. Where we can come before Jesus. And say, Jesus, you know who I am. You know my weakness. You know my strength. Struggles. But I need your help. I can't do it myself. And he is ready to extend you that hand. It doesn't matter how old you are. But the sowing and reaping, whether we agree or disagree, it happens. And during this prayer, if you are here and you have difficulty in your life and there's something that you, you're fighting but you see no victory, we can pray for you as a church. We ask you to come forward to receive prayer. Maybe it's for your family. Maybe your marriage is falling apart because there was the wrong seeds planted. Maybe your kids are on the wrong path. 
твои дети на неправильном пути. only with Jesus and only through prayer. Where he is able to help us. Он может помочь нам. Let us pray. Давайте помолимся. And if you need prayer, this place is always open. Это место всегда открыто. Amen.